Hello, my name is Johnny Parsons, and I'm a fellow student in the Justice Studies class at SJSU. The topic that I chose to do research on was racism within our criminal justice system. I believe it is extremely important to talk about it in this day and age, and it is something that I have spent a lot of time researching and learning about. This is because people of color are more harshly punished and targeted by our criminal justice system, and I want to make a difference to change that. Our justice system was set up during the slavery era, and it has not changed much since then. Therefore, it's about time for the changes to be made. I believe that it'll be our generation to make this change, as we are more diverse and more informed than any other previous generation. It's not going to be easy, but realistically, no positive change is easy. I initially wanted to work with the wonderful organization Campaign Zero that focuses their work on ending mass incarceration, reducing the power of police, and pushing for transparency in our justice system. I felt that this organization was aligned with my core beliefs. Unfortunately, after reaching out on multiple occasions, I could not connect with them. I am looking forward to working with them in the future. I was able to find a student organization called SAMI SJSU, Students Against Mass Incarceration. They organized and conducted a protest in front of City Hall because of San Jose's plan to build a new jail. I was lucky enough to have found the group and be involved in this protest. For this protest, we met on the sidewalk in front of City Hall. We made signs before the protest and each held a sign with a different message. This particular protest was focused on supporting people with mental illness, low income, and raising awareness about racism and its intersection with the mass incarceration. There were two speakers, the officers of the club, who spoke about the goals of the organization and why it matters to everyone. After the speeches, the media was able to interview and take statements from members. The rally took about 45 minutes. Although I have participated in rallies before, I have not protested anything that directly impacted the people of San Jose. It felt really good to be doing something in my community. There were some challenges in completing the project. I was initially struggling to find an organization to reach out to and find an action to take. My plan was to take direct action. I typically post on social media regarding this issue. However, I was really hoping to take a more hands-on approach. I was fortunate in enough to see Sammy SJSU tabling on campus and get to speak to them. I am also fortunate to have learned that they were holding a rally the following week. Once I reached out to Sammy SJSU, I realized that it was a natural fit and it was very easy to get involved. The group was very welcoming and I felt like we had the same goals regarding eliminating racism in our justice system. I will continue to work with this group moving forward. Following the protest, we heard that the plan to build a jail was going to be delayed and discussed further. While we didn't win the war, we did win this battle. We also got some very positive press and a statement was released by a council member on her webpage. She was very complimentary to our organization and stated that she agreed with our goals. That is why voting is so important, so that we get people in office who stand for our values. Although some parts of this assignment were difficult, 
it turned out to be extremely important, and I am very glad that I did it in the end. It motivated me to take actions that I typically would not take. And I am really excited to continue this journey with the hope of making a difference in the lives of others. Thank you for listening.